Hey guys, long time no see. Life has been so, so crazy. In a good way though. I actually totally enjoy it. I just love being a mom and, you know, taking care of both kids. And it's just, I don't know, I think I've never felt this satisfied in my life, to be honest. Yeah, today is a holiday here in Germany. Um, It's also Father's Day and we decided to try, take a little trip to Hamburg. There is a harbor festival. So actually called Harbor Birthday and lots of ships and boats are going to be there. It's I think even a fair and there are some booth and food and drink and music and we're so excited. It's our first trip as a family of four. You're excited sweetie? Yeah. Yes? Cooking? You want to see the boats? Yeah. Okay yes so I decided to take you along on our first family trip I rented an Airbnb, it's a little house um, 30 minutes outside of Hamburg because Roman has family in Lüneburg, which is also outside of Hamburg, I think, I think like 30 minutes. And we're in between both cities, so we can go to Hamburg and see the Harbor Festival, but we can also go to Lüneburg and see his family. And I'm so excited, weather is supposed to be very nice, around like 20 degrees, which is totally perfect. We have a really, really cool new tool. It's the Thule bicycle trailer and it actually also serves as a stroller. And guys, it is amazing because we, we really managed to fit everything in our trunk, which is always a struggle. You know, with two kids, um, one being a baby, you need a, um, a crib, so a travel cot because the Airbnb doesn't have a travel cot. William will sleep in the big bed and then baby will sleep in a travel cot let's see how that goes and we fit everything i mean i just can't believe it i will show you later right now we do a little pit stop at the bakery to get some pretzel for william and then it's off up north hamburg here we come oh i promised i wanted to show you the trunk Ta -da! so you can see the tula the wheels, our two suitcases. I mean, it's easy for just a weekend. We didn't have to pack so much. And here's a travel cot and the mattress. And then I have a few stuff here in the foot, uh, like blankets, the carrier, there's the Leah. Hello, my sweetie. Hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, he just took a nappy. And yeah, it's as you see. So we just arrived in Hamburg from a parking space. We drove by the cafe I picked out but it was rather full. So let's see if we find the space there. If not then we just go somewhere else. Um, yeah and here. The Tula. It is so amazing. They're all sitting inside being happy. Are you guys happy inside? Yeah. Oh no, not so much. The sun is in your face. Cuatro. 
So guys, we just arrived. No, we arrived at the Airbnb. It's amazing. We put the boys down to sleep. William was totally over the top. He didn't sleep at all throughout the day. Liu was also very, very tired. And I'm just sitting down having some dinner. We stopped by this vegan restaurant on our way back to the car. And I got something to go. Roman was like, nah, he's not hungry. But now he also feels a little hungry. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at some delivery restaurants um yeah and maybe get another pizza because i think i will also not be satisfied with just this bowl we were running around the entire day it was crazy it was a lot of fun though but to be honest with like two kids little kids and one baby it's a lot and i think we will come back when the kids are a little bigger and also because the festival there's so many people and William was just running around like crazy because he was so excited and it was really hard you know to um keep an eye on him and he didn't want to sit inside the stroller inside the tuler so yeah it was a handful and now we are just enjoying a little quiet time and enjoying this really nice airbnb i think i will give you a tour tomorrow as i'm just a little tired right now but it's definitely a keep um and something you can actually spend a weekend it's so cool with a fireplace enough space for a family of four and um really peaceful and quiet very stylish and um yeah i think i will see you tomorrow Try and key. yeah what does it smell like chocolate guys second day we just had our breakfast at this breakfast place called cafe melt which was very good actually and now we are back on the harbor festival um, ah. so now we are back at the harbor festival and it's really peaceful and quiet right now which is very amazing especially now with kids let's see how long it stays this way yeah, I'm going to look at some ships now and then um, look for a little present for William's best friend whose birthday party is tomorrow. Yeah, and just um, enjoy the weather. Hello from editing May. So I just sat down to edit this Hamburg travel vlog that you just watched. I mean, yeah, right now, today is Friday, July 12th. And we were in Hamburg. Let me think. I think it was the weekend around May 10th. So <laughs> there you know how long it took me to actually finally sit down and edit this video. Life has been so crazy with the two boys. Um, it has been fulfilling, yes, but also like so much going on, you know, with their sleep schedules, also like throughout the day, not really working. Um, Leo also, before he started eating solids, he didn't really take a nappy, so he would like nap for 30 minutes or sometimes 10 minutes. I would constantly, you know, go back and put him down for a nap and soothe him and rock him and whatever. So. This really never gave me a time frame to actually sit down and do my YouTube thing. Um, and then at night after they went to bed, I would be like falling exhausted into my bed myself. So here I am. And I thought I have to give you a little roundup because it somehow ended very chaotically. And I think it doesn't really make sense if I don't give you some background information on like what really went down. So the last time you saw me, we were on a second day. We just had finished breakfast. 
and we went to explore the harbor festival some more we walked down the harbor i think you could walk for like 30 minutes or something all the way down and there were booths on each side with like foods and drinks and I don't know games for the for the kids and kind of like a tr uh, kind of like a county fair kind of thing and um yeah but we had so much difficulties with William because he was like very very overwhelmed I think the entire trip was a little too much from my part um for the kids because we only had like three days two of the days were like the travel days we only had one full day there and then the weekend before it was William's third birthday we already had like many people over it was very exciting there was lots going on and with him if there's too much going on um in a short period of time he feels easily overwhelmed and that's what happened with this trip which I didn't really think about so already when we went off when we um left for the trip he was already overtired he didn't want to go he wanted to stay home and it's very unusual for him because he's usually someone who loves doing new things and is very excited about you know experiences and going out and seeing new places and all of that but he was already i think coming from a very exhausted state so um, when we come, came home the first day from exploring the city and also the harbor festival, he would like fall into bed being utterly exhausted. He didn't take a nappy. He was very over the top the entire day. Um, he he didn't calm down at all. And then the second day, it, it like even though he slept, it somehow continued like his tiredness, his exhaustion. Um, we finally managed him to at least take an, I think, an hour-long nappy in the Tula stroller, but we realized <laughs> the stroller is a little too small for him already because he's so tall and he laid in very uncomfortable. And um, we all know, like, when we're sitting in a car sleeping or in a train or airplane, it's not really a restful sleep. So when he woke up, he was still cranky and we had to carry him a lot. And it was just so much. And then we also, on this day... We went home and we or to our apartment to our airbnb and we stayed there for like 10 minutes changed into a different set of clothes grabbed some stuff and then we went out to meet roman's aunt and uncle which he hasn't seen in a long long time and um yeah we were we had um dinner plans together but william wouldn't have it he like had a meltdown he didn't want to go and it oh my gosh it was just it was just crazy and looking back on it I felt so bad for him and I felt so bad myself that I actually pushed him you know to do this even though I should have known better but that's also about I think motherhood and parenthood in general you're ever learning ever evolving and yeah I think no one does it perfectly so yeah we went to meet uh, Roman's aunt and uncle and we had a lovely evening to be honest they were so nice they had like gifts for him and also for Leo and it was really cool but you could see that both kids were so overtired so overwhelmed from all the impressions throughout the day and they were getting cranky and crankier by the minute and we tried or I tried to calm them down as much as possible so that Roman could you know spend some quality time with his family but at one point we just had to go and um, yeah, tell them that we would come back another time, hopefully. And they were very understanding. They're very nice. But anyways, and then the next day um, we only had breakfast at the at the our, our Airbnb that we rented. And then we went straight home because we then had um, William's best friend's birthday party. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, this entire weekend was so packed and um, even at the birthday party, William like didn't behave at all. He was very crazy kicking and hitting and, you know, not listening. And oh man, I was so glad when we were finally back home and could come down. And then Sunday, we really just spent relaxing and, you know, preparing for the week ahead. So that's also why, like I told you in the beginning, I wanted to show you the apartment or it was actually a little house, um, but I didn't get to it because it was so crazy. The entire days were so crazy and we were constantly on the go. And then at night when we came home, we put the kids to bed and then we also like crashed onto the couch and were, I was only able to watch a little bit of young Sheldon with Roman and then we would go straight to bed and also fell asleep. 
but it was a really cute house um i would always recommend it i'm even planning on going back there this year or um as soon as possible because it was so lovely and i was so sad that we didn't really get to spend as much time there as i would like to because we were so jam-packed with all the plans i made beforehand because it was really nice also with like two kids we had a little backyard and a little back patio with a barbecue and sun beds and you know chairs and a table to have like dinner or lunch breakfast whatever your heart desired and then in front was a little field where horses were grazing on and it was really idyllic and really nice for also like a relaxing family vacation or like getaway um the landlord or the lady who rented the place or rented out the place told us that there was a very nice playground i think um two towns away um also like suitable for every age and i would really love to go back and check out the playground for the kids so yeah and it was so clean it was so tidy you had two bathrooms um two rooms um a spacious living eating kitchen area um so very very nice uh i felt right at home there to be honest so yeah so this is a little background information so that you're not all confused about how this vlog went down yeah i'm planning i'm really planning on doing more vlogs now now that i'm kind of getting in a better routine with both boys and leonard also getting older and um, yeah, just, you know, being easier to handle. I mean, it's always changing. So I know that it, it can be a phase, but I'm trying, you know, to use the nappy times um, to actually vlog more, take you along on our family journey. Also do more yoga videos again. I know it has been a long time, but with a kid being in kindergarten, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have believed it, even though everyone told me beforehand, but you're constantly sick. And that's what happens to us. We're constantly sick. I think we're just like sliding from one cold to the next or one sickness into the next. So it has been a journey, but um, hopefully we will stay a little healthy right now. I'm really taking all the action steps, like juicing, taking my vitamins, eating a teaspoon of raw honey and honey in the morning so let's see how this works out um yeah but make sure to subscribe also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new uploads that are coming also subscribe to my instagram account i will link it down below um because i'm always also posting on stories when everything when anything new is coming up and i'm excited to have you on the journey i'm excited that you're supporting me thank you so so much for that and i see you soon bye